Okay, what we're doing today here is uh, ABS problem on a 2003 Protege 5. Uh, we had uh, the ABS light come on and the uh, parking brake light come on, which generally means just general failure in the ABS system somewhere. And to read the codes, fairly simple, as long as you have the, uh, uh, the manual that shows what the codes are. And what you want to do is jump over here on the, the driver's side, right in front of the windshield wiper, a little diagnostic box. And there's a bunch of pins in there. And you can see that the in the lower, the, the diagnostic box is divided into two sections. In the top section, second one in from the far left. And it's the only one with a, with a, a pin in there, with a, a metal pin in there in that area. So anyway, it's the second one. Make sure you get the right one. And this one, you need to ground it anywhere on the chassis. So what I've done is just run a wire in there. Um, put a piece of wire in there to uh, uh, to connect with the box and then ran a jumper wire to the negative of the battery. And then we're going to go inside the car. Now we're not going to turn the car on. I'm going to put the key in the ignition and turn it to the run position without starting the car. And we're going to watch the ABS light on the bottom left corner there's going to start flashing. We're going to count the flashes. One, one, two, three. So there's one long flash and three quick flashes. That means 13. Now we've got a second one. One, two, three, four. And a pause. One, two, three, four, six, seven. I've already read these, so I know what it is. So we've got 13 and 47. It's going to repeat itself over and over again until you turn it off. And that's how you count them. You're going to wait for the one uh, for it to go off, and then start flashing the long flashes, and then the quick flashes. There's a pause in between the two. And you read those, you put them together, and uh, then you go to the, uh, the workshop manual and read the codes. I just happen to have the workshop manual downloaded on my garage laptop. And you can see here, uh, where are we now? Number 13, pull this back, number 13, right there. And we're going to read that, that's circuit failure of ABS wheel speed sensor, right rear ABS wheel. So right rear is passenger side, when you're sitting in the car, right is on your right. So that's rear passenger side ABS. And now we're going to look up 47. They're not in numerical order for some dumb reason. I don't know why they're not. Okay, there's 47. 47, see, four, four long, or uh, four slow flashes and seven quick. I go in there and ABS wheel speed sensor output missing from right rear ABS. So basically the right rear wheel speed sensor. And it just so happens I went to the wrecking yard the other day and grabbed a right rear wheel speed sensor because we've read these. I've already read these codes and checked it out. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to slowly go through these. I'm going to see, oh, let's see if I can make it fit the screen properly. I'll try and fit the screen for you. And scroll through these in case. I hope you'll be able to read this. In case you want to pause and read them. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to put a link in the bottom of the video uh, as to where to download this manual. Um, or you can email me and send me your email address and I'll send you the, uh, uh, the service manual for this car. Uh, Protégé as well is the same as Protégé 5. Most of the stuff is almost the same. So we're going to be looking at the right rear wheel speed sensor. So you have to pull the right rear wheel off and uh, check it out. One of the first things you want to check if it's a wheel speed sensor is jack the car up and on the back take the parking brake off and turn the wheels by hand. If you've got a sticking parking brake that'll cause uh, the wheel speed sensor to lag behind the other ones and it's going to think that the ABS should be on and uh, it's going to trip a problem. Same with the front, jack the front up, uh, put it in neutral if it's a manual, uh, put it in neutral if it's an automatic. 
and spin the wheels by hand and see if you can feel any dragging on the brakes. If your emergency brake is stuck or sticking, if your emergency brake is dragging, if your brakes are, uh, you got a wheel bearing gone, that's going to cause this problem. Or one of the things that can cause this problem. You could just have a bad wheel speed sensor. Uh, the other thing that can cause the problem is if you let your brake pads wear down too much, uh, you'll get aluminum, uh, aluminum, sorry, metallic filings that come off of uh, the brake pad. The metallic uh, brake pads will have little chunks of metallic pieces that come off, little fine metallic dust, and it'll go into the back to the wheel speed sensor, which basically has a magnet in it, and it, it measures little teeth on the, on, on the hub, and as the hub spins, little teeth, um, they look kind of like a bicycle gear tooth or a sprocket on a bicycle, kind of like that. And as they spin by, it counts those little teeth as they go by. The magnet is pulled in by each tooth as it goes by, and when there's a space in between, it goes back out. And it counts the revolutions, and that's the way it de determines whether one wheel is spinning faster than the other. If you have different sized tires than the front to the rear, that could cause the wheel speed sensor to go. And if you have low tire pressure, that could also cause a wheel speed sensor to go. So check your tire pressures. Uh, check that your tires are all the exact same size, front to rear. And uh, check for brake drag. Check for anything else before you bother delving into the computer, before you try removing wheel speed sensors, anything like that. These are the quick ways to get to it and uh, and check and see if you have one of those problems. And that's the easy way, uh, easy quick step, first step. Uh, you always want to do the easiest thing first, get those out of the way, and uh, make sure those aren't it because there's nothing worse than pulling a whole computer out, pulling the ABS unit out, all that stuff, and finding out you just had a low t low tire pressure. Uh, not not too much fun doing that. So anyway, um, when I get further into this, I'll uh, I'll take another video on it. But uh, check that stuff in the meantime. And like I said, shoot me an email if you want me to send you the uh, a link to the uh, to the download.